Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. In the last episode, Cynthia died, we went back to our apartment, and then when we went through the hole again, we ended up here, somewhere outside. Right, I don't have a flashlight, do I? I'm so used to having a flashlight in the Silent Hill games. It's a cliff. I can't go forward here. That's true. It's reasonable. Too dark to see. wonder if I find a flashlight. Wait, is this, a, is this a path? There's secrets. Okay. This writing. What does it mean? Yeah, I thought I saw something on that tree stump. Oh, it's like a bunch of pieces of paper. Just, like, glued to it or something. Can't read it. Oh, it's over here, too. Someone carved some kind of weird writing. Oh, can't read any of it? Okay. Doggies. Enter the hole. No. Oh, look at that. In front of the hole is a fence, and it's just been just savagely cut to make room for the hole. Okay, I've been avoiding going into these holes. Because I don't want to, like, end the day or end the cycle or whatever it is before I do the thing. But I think it's time I just explored what... Where does it actually go? Maybe it doesn't even go back to the room. Or maybe it does, and then when I go through the hole again, it'll take me right back here. Like, maybe that's to allow me to go back to the home so I can save or something. So I just did a save state. Let's see where this goes exactly. So I did wake up in bed again. Maybe that would have healed me like it did before. Now the other question is, if I go back through the hole, do I end up... Oh, shit. Help me! Help! Let me out of here! There's something going on in this room. What do you mean? I heard weird noises coming from inside there. Help! Hey, Richard. Can you see anything from your window? No. Everything looks pretty normal to me. The guy who lives here, what's he like anyway? I know his name and face, but that's about it. Well, I'm gonna go call the super. Yeah, good idea. Damn it, they can't hear me. That's so weird. They hear noises, so they can hear something, but, I mean, I don't think they heard the beating on the door. But they said they heard noises in the past. Okay, so I'm wondering the interplay between going into the hole and making progress by continuing in the world outside the room. So, as soon as I saw the hole, I went through it, came back here, and stuff changed, right? Like, we get a new, a new scene that just played out over there. We probably would have gotten healed if we were hurt. I'm not sure where the hole's going to take me back to, but all this, like, progressed, basically. The room progressed. But what would have happened if I just didn't go through that hole and just kept going forwards? Does that change something? Is there any reason to care one way or the other? I feel like I'm probably supposed to go through the hole so I can at least save. 
Why do I keep... Why do I keep checking this? I can't leave the room. It's never going to be restocked. Is there anything else different? No, it looks... Pretty normal. So where does this hole take me to this time? Back to the very beginning, or through the hole that I just entered this place from? To the hole that I entered this place from? Okay, so yeah, I think I probably should go into every hole that I find. It's kind of a chance to probably recuperate, maybe see if something new happens, and then I can always kind of come back to that exact spot later. Okay. So, shouldn't be afraid of the hole. Don't be scared of the hole. Oh. Uh. Uh. Those are some big bugs. I think they're gonna hurt. I probably shouldn't waste, waste my pistol ammo on them. Can I hit him? Hit him with my golf club? Oh! Ew. Disgusting noises. You just got clubbed. Oh, God damn it. At least you can hit them in groups. I gotta stomp on every single one. Oh, you can stomp them in groups too. Are they? They sound like flies, you know, or I mean, just some sort of a bug with wings, but they look, I mean, I can barely see them, but they look sort of like bats. What is this place? Is this some kind of factory? liquid. It reeks so bad it makes my head spin. Oh, wait. I think it broke. It's all bent. I accidentally skipped through whatever whatever uh, Henry said. So, oh, I can't even, I can't even use it anymore. It's not just that it does less damage. I literally can't use it. That's so sad. Should I have saved it for the end of the game? Beaten the last boss with a club? Guess we're back to the pipe. It wouldn't surprise me if there's actually something special. <clears throat> about the uh, the golf club, like some special way to use it. Just like I feel there's probably something special about the chocolate milk. Like, what's the chocolate milk for? I can't drink it. I have to use it. Whoops. There's also the wine bottle, but that's just a weapon. And I don't think a very good one against bugs. It's got a pretty short reach. The 
car's lights are on. The engine's still running and the driver's seat door is open. It's stopped with a brake pedal engaged. There are all sorts of things scattered on the seat. Among the trash is a scrap of paper with something written on it. It's been a while since I came here to Silent Hill. Maybe I'll meet the devil this time. But whenever I come to a cool place like Silent Hill, I always get real thirsty. Jasper Gain. Maybe I'll meet the devil. When I come to a place like this, I get real thirsty. Thirsty in what way? Why does that sound like it's written by a serial killer? There's a memo pad in there too. I'm not sure what that nosy guy meant when he said, his home is the orphanage in the middle. The lake is northwest. So the opposite is southeast. Well, that's a riddle. The nosy guy said one other thing I don't understand. If you bring the dug up key, you can't go back. Put it away somewhere before you return there. The dug up key. I'm guessing this will become relevant pretty soon. Put it away somewhere before you return there. Before I return to home? Put Jasper's memo pad into your scrapbook. Don't suppose there's anything in the trunk? Hmm, can't open it. Probably can't read this text. Nope. Person. A not enemy person. So you, you came to investigate this this stone too. There there was a, another guy here before, a, a, a real nosy guy. But, but, but I, I was the one one who found this stone first. In the old days, the natives called it Nakihona. They used it in a ceremony for, for talking with their dead ancestors. And now those those guys are, are using it too. Call, call it the mother stone. They're just up, up ahead in that, that weird building. Op operating some kind of crazy re religious cult. They, they used to c c collect orphans and, and, and d d did things to them. Kind of gives you the chill chills, huh? This stone. So here's what I think's going on. I think... I think this is why Silent Hill-esque things are happening in a place that's near, but not actually at Silent Hill. It seems like the cult is here, and their talk about collecting, or this person's talk about the cult collecting orphans and doing things to them, I think they're searching for a new mother. They even call this the Mother Stone, right? To talk with the ancestors. Didn't they call Alessa? Slash Heather? Slash... Well, they never called Cheryl the mother, but Alessa slash Heather? Weren't they called the mother because they were the one who had the the demon god that was growing within them? The demon seed that would be coming from their body? I think they were called mother because they were mothering a god. Or at least gestating it or something. So I think they're collecting orphans because they're trying to find another person who can take the 
grow the demon god thing within them experimenting on them hoping to get that back again and maybe using the mother stone to try to communicate with a god or i don't know some part of alessa or something i think they're trying to reenact what they were doing at silent hill but here This rock is creepy somehow. Talking to the dead. This rock is also creepy somehow. That's not a very useful view. I think I'm supposed to. I think I'm supposed to put things in the rock at some point once I actually have things to put in them. For now, let's head on to the cult, I guess. Dogs? If I leave you alone, will you leave me alone? Oh, there's a lot of dogs. I can't let them surround me. Are you going to attack? Where am I? Do they... Do they just not attack? If you don't attack them? Are these good puppers? They're laying down. I'm worried if I touch them they might try to attack, but yeah, they're not attacking me. Oh. 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 Are they... Oh, fuck. They're blind, aren't they? I think they're blind. I don't think this is going to really change anything. They're still going to be there. That explains why it looked like they were tracking me, and why they didn't attack me on sight, but only when they kind of touched me. And then once they're attacking me, it also explains why they kind of wait to lurch at you. I think they're trying to hear you to figure out where you are exactly. Maybe if you don't move, they won't lurch at you at all. I don't know. But yeah, once they're activated, obviously they all seem to kind of activate and they know what's going on because they can hear it, but if I just never touch one in the first place, I might be okay. I'm sorry, puppers. I don't have a health drink, right? This is the chocolate milk. Yeah. The undrinkable chocolate milk. Damn, they did a lot of damage. I feel like they're doing- Whoa! I feel like they're doing more damage this time than last time I encountered them. Maybe they were easy before because it was the beginning of the game, kind of like a tutorial. Going easy on me. Anyway, what the fuck is this thing? A trap? What am I even looking at? A bunch of spears, a bloody tarp. Can't examine it. There's something up there on the sides. I don't know what those are. Too dark to see. Maybe that was my warning that I should look out for traps? That was my freebie?
Oh. Okay, I'm dead. I think it's because I'm running. I think... What if I just don't... They're going to attack me because they'll touch me. Yeah, that's fine. I, I want to get my health back. I think they maybe reacted so fast because I was running and they heard that, so maybe if I walk, I'll be fine. Okay, my uh, save was from when I just came out of the hole pretty far back, so... Um, the good thing about that is it allowed me to save my golf driver. Didn't have to use it on the bugs, I just ran past them. Since I don't think I'll have to go back there again. Hopefully. Back here at the Mother Stone. Um, let me just equip my pistol. Dog should be right in here, so I'm just not gonna sprint. I think I can walk at full speed, but just not sprint. Yeah, see? We're fine. We're fine, they're good puppers. They'll only suck my blood if they hear me. That's the test of a good dog. Silent Hill Smile Support Society. Wish House. Silent Hill Smile Support Society. S-H-S-S-S... -S 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 I don't know. <laughs> Should I try to turn it into an acronym? Um, that's the orphanage run by the cult. Uh, fucking cult running an orphanage. I remember that this doesn't open, right? That's the orph... Yes? Does it... Oh, I just looked at the sign accidentally. It does open. And there's another hole. Hold on. I just want to make sure there's... Nah... Nothing here. No, there's nothing over there. Okay. I think they can kind of smell me. They kind of come in my general direction. Guess I'll use this opportunity to go heal and see if anything's changed. Wait, we saw this happen before. Oh, my safe state was from not after I came out of the hole, but before I went through the hole. Right, okay. This place is terrifying. It's a cult orphanage compound with all sorts of... I mean, they have kids' toys around here and stuff, but surrounded by all these toys and playground equipment is just like... Utter, utter gray death. Everything's just gray and dull and weird. Looks like graffiti drawn by a kid. Right, I mean, there's just a bunch of barrels here next to the monkey bars. Must be some kind of kid's toy. It's like a mixture of industrial and, and kids. Okay, so there's a lot of ways to go. I guess that's... Yeah, the wish house. That's the wish house up there. Two other ways to go, though. Can't read this writing. I wonder why I can't read any of the writing. Yeah, there's up there. And there's this back here. And then there's the main door. Let's check out this. Doggies. Just don't sprint. What is that? What's all of this? Rusty spikes driven into tree stumps? such good boys. 
There's nothing here, huh? God, that's a lot of dogs. If I hadn't realized that they're blind and I could do this, I'd be wasting so much ammo on them. so many doorways like why are these why are there so many segmented little places with nothing in them also I feel like going between these two trees is a trap okay Is it a trap? Oh, an arm coming up from the ground. Oh man, thank god, it's just a tree root. Mm-hmm. Sure. Does the tree root hand want chocolate milk? It doesn't. go towards the screaming noise. It's very suspicious that there's just nothing here in any of these places. I, I must need to come back to this area or something. Another golf driver. Golf club looks like a six iron. Take the six iron, yeah. Powerful, easy to use, looks like it could break easily. I'm just going to collect all of these. Get a full set. It's actually hilarious that you just keep finding golf clubs. Some kind of weird writing. Yep, can't read it. Hi there. Can they see me looking through the spy hole? I should be looking in here too. It's such an interesting change that instead of finding save points in the world, you find holes in the world that take you back to your room, to just the one save point. Such an interesting change. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to go check out the Wish House.